and my little screen consents as well. Good morning um, and welcome to our Rotary meeting today, Saturday, August the 14th. And today I'll be sharing a wonderful collaborative tool with you based on an online software program called Trello. And as we were just discussing in our meeting today, it's so wonderful to be able to share information online and to encourage each other to make a positive difference in the world. And what that looks like in terms of a, a public outward facing page is of course our new website, which I've toured you through. But from it, I'd like to start our meeting today by reading and, and respecting those who have gone before us. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of Seanigan Lake or Shawalakin as it's known, the whole Kaminam speaking peoples who hunted and gathered in this area for generations. We respect their caring connections to each other and the places where we live, work and play. And we are committed to moving forward with them in a spirit of friendship and in a spirit of collaboration. So we invite everyone who shares and calls this place home to join us in making a positive impact. And uh, we have been busy doing that, uh, stretching our, our baby bird wings uh, since we have chartered as of June 15th this year. So thank you for joining us today. And let me show you the secret behind all of this. What, what keeps the club humming is a place where we can share our ideas and have that be a collaborative effort. So I'm going to go to our dashboard. So what you see here, and I'm hoping to zoom in just a little bit so that it's maybe visible. Uh, who's joining us by a phone today? Would it be helpful if I made the view a bit bigger? I'll just see what I can do here. There, that's at 110%. Just to be able to see what we're looking at. And if you can imagine a whiteboard and being in a physical meeting room together, this would be the equivalent of sticky notes on that whiteboard. But imagine that each sticky note has a, has a, um, a column divided on that page so that I can scroll around and see what's happening on each of our topics. And to use Trello, I decided, first of all, let me just take you to when you're actually deciding how to use the software, you can pick templates. And what I did is I picked a template called V2 Mom, which is vision, values, methods, obstacles. And then I believe the last one, let's just go back to our page so I can figure out what they are. Obstacles and what's the last M? Measures. So actual achievable measures that we can take to make our dreams a reality. So let's go to our first card, which is our vision. This is where uh, all of us who are new to Rotary might want to learn more about how we fit within the bigger picture. So what I did is I included our action statement or the, the thing that unites Rotary clubs around the world. It's part of our service and stewardship. And this is a card in Trello that you can learn more about. So I'm gonna click on that card. And if I wanted to, I could add details. Like I could add an attachment that takes me right to Rotary International. But it says together, we see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe in our communities and in ourselves. So if I had a, wanted to add details, like any members who wanted to follow this up, any action plans, if I wanted to make comments and make create a checklist, like number one, two, three, uh, what I'd like to do to achieve this goal, I could add a checklist and then add items to that checklist, like link to RI homepage, which I will do at another time. And then that would add an item that I could do. All right. So let's go out of that card to some of the cards we already have. We are people of action. We have a motto that's service above self. We've posted to uh, the Think Seanigan Master Plans, which I alluded to, and we've created some links and other things. So again, what happens here and why would we even go to all this work in our club to create a dashboard like this? Well, as you know, in many organizations, there's a problem problem of succession. So what happens when those key members, the people with the original passion and vision for an organization leave or 
you know, heaven forbid something unexpected happens and you lose access and you lose passwords, then you don't have, you've lost so much work and so much vision and you can't pass the baton as it, as it will. And then also we acknowledge the fact that there's other community groups that have gone before us that have done a tremendous amount of work and wouldn't it be nice to link to them so that our members can benefit from what they have to offer. So this link tells us about the First Nations origin story and where that actually is found on the internet. I've linked to that at our dashboard so that you can read the story of how Shawnigan got its name and in fact, it might have something to do with there's something mysterious living at the bottom of our lake that the First Nations people couldn't understand. And so isn't it interesting then to frame that in light of our environmental stewardship? I'll pause here to gather, um, gather direction for the next deep dive that we're going to do. Uh, okay, so when we are talking about our values, what does that look like? So what does it mean to inspire people? Here's where at our dashboard, we can invite collaboration and pull in other meaningful quotes. And Corey, I'm gonna put you on deck here for just a moment because I've been such an admirer and following your, um, your personal brand and philosophy on Facebook in terms of self-care and how you move forward. Like if, you, if you're not looking and investing in yourself, then how will you have anything to share? Your cup might run right. dry, right? So mm -hmm. I'd like you to take a moment now as I scroll to talk about what I could add here today, you card under values. Um, when you're, t I don't think, like I don't, my model is I like to inspire people. The reason why I like to inspire people is because of the journey I've had and the journey that I continue to have, keeping myself um, physically fit and healthy and mentally and physically, um, this I share. I don't, um, like I don't, um, what do you call it? I don't share everything, but I do share some things. And if you can touch one person out of what you're sharing, you have to, I believe you have done some good because your smile is your, is your logo. Your just, you are your, uh, I don't, don't even know how to put it into words, but your smile can literally save a life. So why not smile? There's somebody out there who needs your smile. There's somebody out there who needs to hear that you had a rough morning, but you got through it. And this is where you're at now. Um, You've gone from myself, I do a lot of weightlifting. So I've gone from lifting 35 weights, but today I can only do three, but I'm still doing it. Get off the couch, you're off the couch, you're not sitting on it. All those little things inspire people. Uh, I bake, I help inspire people with their, their baking, as Kimberly knows. Um, uh, I like to just, I like to be involved in the community. I've always done lots of volunteer work through my employment. And now that I'm no longer with my employment, I'm kind of, kind of what they call retired, but I don't know what that looks like yet, but I still want to be out. I still want to be a face in the community. I still want to help. I still want to inspire. I still want to lift people. Um, and however I can do that, however I can be at service, I am. I don't know if that helps you, Kimberly, or not. It's it sure does. Words that, been, it's just words that came naturally. Yeah. So I'm going to invite you to review this card. And sure. it is. There it is right there. Your smile is your testimony. Logo. Yeah. So I was listening very carefully and picking out some of the things that I think would be of, of value to anyone who was reading this, anyone who was. Uh, looking for like a reason to get out of bed in the morning, which is what, yes. what you are so, so strong in. And you, you say like, you say it with all the authenticity of someone who knows, right? That it oh, absolutely. Made, There's mornings you don't want to get out of bed, but you just, I believe you sit on the side of the bed and you create your day. When you 
feet hit the floor, you know what kind of day you're going to have. It's all a decision, right? Yeah. And it's entirely up to you. And you just, your feet hit the floor and away you go. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Get up smile. Mm -hmm. So there we have it. We have your card has been added. And now here's something else I can do when I go into that card. Hurry. Yes. Can I steal that little blurb from you? Sure. I, I might like to use some of it in my district governor speech. I might alter my speech a little bit to include some of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so Lorna. Corey, Corey um, this is Lorna Curtis. She is our Hi, Rotary District Governor. And uh -huh. it's been just so wonderful for her to uh, help us. Uh, she, she inaugurated us, if you will, at our at our charter party. And it's so wonderful that the two of you could connect because I see two very strong women who are committed to inspiring others. And it just makes me smile so much. Well, that's lovely. It's nice to meet you, Lorna. You too. So, so thank Corey, you for your words. They're perfect. You're welcome. Corey, I'd like you to pick a colorful label for your quote. Uh, it could be building relationships or it could be something more. We can create an entirely new label for what you've just shared. My, a label yeah it's definitely ongoing so i'm going to add that label right there ongoing wake up with a smile yeah <laughs> so i i can also just call it inspiration and give it a sunny yellow color as well sounds good okay there we go So one of the other things is so interesting with uh, creating a new culture in Rotary with an eco club focus is that our members are saying that we ought to be minimalist and we really have to focus on less printing, less waste, and even gasp, reduce the amount of swag. <laughs> so this is like, you know, do we really need to order in things? that were made with plastic. We really need to have all these bits and bobs and what does anyone do with, with them anyway? So these are the kinds of questions that are, are um, being asked and, and even what sort of brand and gear should be adopt that is, is very mindful of these values. So any thoughts, ladies, on this? Karen, um, I just will mention Normally, we would have um, um, a, a district directory and we print, oh, maybe, I don't know, 200 of them, two or three, no, maybe more, probably more like 500 of them. And we hand them out to the clubs and to the club president and et cetera, et cetera. This is the first year I've said no. It's online. People can look at it online. We we there we're not printing district directories, and at the um, conference, it'll be the first time we're not going to have a program. Is it'll so be online. It's going to be an online program. That's yes. what we we're working for with DACDB. So everybody can download it and they'll have it on their phone. So the district is starting to move that way. <laughs> But I got to tell you, it's, it's not always easy. It's a brave new world, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> uh, there's some resistance out there, Kim. I'm telling you. Uh, yes. Yeah. People. I'm going to add that to our card that uh, District Governor Lorna Curtis sorry, has initiated a, uh, how do you say? No printed directory, district directory. It's a whole no. new culture. Well, getting them to go look it up online. Yeah, some people don't, they're not comfortable. No, and they the say, online. I like to have it in front of me. I like to have it in yeah. front of me. Yeah. Yes, yes. In fact, I, I got into a gentle uh, trouble at our first executive meeting uh, just this week when I printed three extra copies of the agenda and it was like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I felt I felt duly chastised, but also very inspired. It's like if everyone else holds each other to these standards, what a difference we can make in our one organization. So 
That's phenomenal. Thank you, Lorna. And another thing is the uh, district has redone their uh, district website. Yes. So I encourage you guys to go and have a look at it and look at the district directory. There's a button at the top that takes you to the district directory. And if you scroll Thanks. through there, you will see a lot of the resources that are available to clubs, whether it's membership foundation, um, all sorts of special services, vocation, like youth, youth protection, interact. Like there's a lot of um, interesting, um, you know, resources there. You know, what would be interesting for your club is to try and get an interact environmentally focused interact club at the school, high school. It would be absolutely lovely, except for the fact that we would be treading in South Cowichan's territory. So they've oh, already they done that. Have... Yeah, they've done it. Well, they've done an interact club for years now. They were the first at uh, Francis Kelsey High School, but okay. they've also created and supported another one at one of our local private schools, St. John's Academy. So really right. we're, we're left with Seanigan Lake School, which I'm keen to do, Corey, because of, I've been on staff there before and, and we do have one of our members as the lead horticulturalist uh, at the Seanigan Lake School Grow Dome project. So they have a wonderful geodesic um, greenhouse dome and gardening uh, mm -hmm. class, outdoor classroom. And yeah, so thank you, Lorna. That is one direction we're going in and Jasmine will be giving us a harvest update on September the 25th, which is our fourth Saturday in September. So I'm really excited about that and hoping it can be in person. Thank you. Yes, involving the students and being a part of that learning community is fabulous. That will actually be added as a card to one of our methods, to be honest, that should be in here. And you can see as I scroll through our methods that we have three pillars, which it ticks all the boxes, service and stewardship, building thriving relationships and growing knowledge. Plus we uh, also have uh, the idea of having our socials too so we can go to places like this and connect multi-generationally so Lorna as you were describing the directory I don't think Corey's ever seen what that looks like so I have a link to last year's as part of our methods so um oh I I normally would if actually you, you could actually go on right now if I you could yeah the website and I can direct you to to it yeah, because I think that uh, I have a link to it. I think that I, the PDF was too big to upload for our free version of Trello, that I would need a business version to be able to host a, a document that big. So uh, yeah, let's go to district resources. And that takes us to the new website that you were talking about, Lorna. Now that at the top there, you see district directory. Yes. And do I have to log in as a Rotarian to see it? No, I don't believe so. Oh, that's great. So this is wonderful. Scroll Let's down, scroll yeah. down and have a look. There you are. And your bio and then uh, all the different leader tabs. I see our upcoming leaders will be there. Uh, Dale Roberts from Comox and Caleb Sommerfeld as well. All right. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Scrolling no, okay. down. Keep going there. Okay. So, so each one of these, if you click on them, nice like for the assistant governors if you click on that it gives you the full list of the all the assistant governors the foundation nice. committee public image so if you're looking for help and you want to be able to contact someone and then if you want to contact your go to area five there area five you just click on contact and that's how you get to to uh, nora Oh, that's wonderful. So we can send Nora a message anytime any member has total access to their area assistant governor and can send them a message asking about anything to do with any of the clubs that we that we share our You can with. do that for everything for there's the oh, this is membership wonderful. committee. It's so interactive. Yes. Youth committees, finance, district. Awesome. Uh, technical resources if you need help with technical resources yes or let's say we'd like to learn oh there's a friendship exchange coming up these are exciting when we get to travel yes. again what does that look like and who can i talk to so more? that's the yeah that's the person kevin is fabulous he leads and tours all over the world with friendship exchange so and you wow. can go down further i think there's even more down below 
yeah, uh, the the web designer, I believe it's Caleb, is really yeah. into this wow. going. <laughs> There's so much more, but this is a neat interactive way to do it, rather than the traditional document. It, yeah. it takes advantage of of website flexibility. All right. If you so. want to have a uh, a district vision, uh, uh your uh, like a, a visioning for your club. Yes. And you want some district help. You click on that, and this is the person you would contact. Oh, Mo is so fabulous. This is and she, and she will help you with uh, setting up a visioning session for your your group. Nice. Oh, this is exciting. And then and if you want this year, to, as we have district mediation and resolution. Yeah. So unfortunately, in some of the clubs, especially the older clubs, there can sometimes be conflict. And, you know, and our, our presidents don't know how to deal with the conflict and the AG isn't able to help them resolve it. So we have specialists now that can come in and help clubs resolve issues. That's great because uh, every organization has uh, elements of friction and it's really nice to be yeah. able to solve it in a peaceful way, which is what Rotary is known for. We're yeah. known for being peacemakers. I'm just looking up Sean again to see what we need. So we need to add uh, some photos here, looks like, and some yeah. more details. So that's fine. We'll get on that. Yeah. So you need to get that to Caleb. And, yeah. and the, the, he once he gets, he's still working on the website. He's sure. going to start asking people for photos because that was the one drawback because normally, Corey, at the uh, PETS, which is our president training session, which is usually in person and in February was, yeah last February we take a picture of all the presidents and that's what gets put into the district directory so people have a face but since yeah. we didn't have it we don't have <laughs> pictures of everybody right we only can use pictures we have from the past yeah yeah and in addition to all of that stuff there, I know that uh, we also have things that tell us more about how Rotary operates. Like I've got, I think a couple of links here. So I have a link to what's called the basics um, PDF that talks about, for example, how Rotary got started and, and why it even is existing and, and so on. And so any of our members, can understand terms like avenue of service and areas of focus and what those actually mean and how they came about and what some of the other programs are. So in addition to the wonderful walkthrough video that Mark Brackett did for us at, and is at our YouTube channel, we can uh, review and, and appreciate and even respect the structure and the history that Rotary is. So some of these older clubs, yes, like they're having a really tough time with navigating the online presence and the online world and the online ways of communicating, but we can respect how they grew as a club and, and how they formed throughout the world and how we even got here in the first place. So I really believe in sharing this information and not having it be a mystery. So that's under Rotary Basics Handbook for all members. I think the last year and a half has really taught us a lot, hasn't it? How to simplify. Yes. You don't need all those books and papers. This is what you need. <laughs> and, There's yeah, still and the right. stories. Really and how to make life a little bit easier. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and you yeah. can, you, you don't have to rush off to all these meetings. You can do them virtual and, you know, it, and it does save the environment as well. Mm -hmm. It does. You know, I would say my of my club visits right now, I would say there's probably going to be about a third of them are going to be uh, virtual. And I think that's going to change over time. This is just yes. the start of it. Um, because right now we can't force clubs, but we're just getting them warmed up to it. The interesting part is Canadian clubs, I think, between us are more open to it than U.S. clubs. Yes, yes, they are. Or open-minded. <laughs> I, I, I just, I, I think they're just, more environmentally conscious. Yeah, willing yeah. to change. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to direct you now to some of our um, implementations. So the ways that we are looking to serve in the community, we're, for now we're calling them action teams on this particular column. And as I scroll through, you see some of them have labels. And one 
has the most labels of all. So we've got our community beautification, our environmental stewardship. I'll go into that card. It includes uh, controlling invasives and creating recycling opportunities. So we'd like to highlight the fact that we have a litter watch program where we've got all these people, all these member, uh, members of the community that aren't club members, but as you can see on the map, they have um, entered into a conversation where they'd like to watch their area and be a part of the, the litter free solution for Seanigan. So this is just absolutely wonderful. We're gonna be continuing this conversation with each of those people over the course of this next year to find out how they're doing and how we can support them, whether we need to get them supplies or just again, have those regular times of connecting cheering on those natural um, good works in the community. And yeah, uh, controlling invasives, that's another thing we can do with our local government, as well as the, um, the different branches of the environmental uh, groups that we share the community with, such as the Basin Society, and recycling opportunities, what that looks like to get um, some of these materials out of the environment, and whether we should be sponsoring collection points so that we can make sure glass is processed better than it is now, which is we often find broken bottles throughout our parks and it's just not acceptable for safety. And for starting a, a wildfire, that would be awful. So just some of the ideas we can encourage and having a dashboard like this really helps, of course, the club secretary to remember what topics we need to include on our agendas and revisit but also it invites collaboration. So for example, a vocational field trip could be anywhere. So we're talking about member garden tours, but Corey, uh, you also have, like a, we've talked about, um, is this wonderful bakery that gluten-free customers flock to when, when you're in session, when it's not so hot. So maybe you could tell us more about um, what it would look like to, to um, yeah. Share, share your vocational skills with us. Um, vocation, well, we could even do uh, voc vocational skills, online cooking, baking classes. Um, it's yeah, gardening. It's a revenue stream. <laughs> yes, gardening. My mom's, my mom's listening. I'm an avid gardener as well. So I'm always in the garden. I you know, show people how to collect seeds from their, from their existing flowers and things, or we can, yeah, uh, online baking classes, how to mix um, a gluten-free flour mix so you have it on hand, basically. Nice. So you're buying the um, name brand, uh, uh, flour mixes, things like that. Um, those types of field trips would be kind of fun, I, yeah. I think. Yeah, they could be virtual or in person. That's yeah. fantastic. So I, as you can see, I added them. Um, and the author is just called planning team. So anyone can add a suggestion to a card. Mm -hmm. Kim, mm -hmm. you, uh, an idea might be to come to the food distribution center. In yes, Victoria. yes, mm -hmm. we'll definitely and add that. After, starting in September, I think they're going to do tours again. I think you guys would be totally amazed. And I don't know if it's something because Thrifty Foods has been involved and you've got a Thrifties up in Mill Bay, that it's something that you maybe could come up with something you do with them. Totally. But right now we are diverting uh, eight to 10,000 pounds of fresh fruits and vegetables and dairy products from the landfill every day. It's being repurposed and it's going out to over 35,000 people in Greater Victoria. And Rotary, that is fantastic. The Rotary Clubs down here started that. That is fantastic. And we would be delighted to partner if, if it meant we could well, involve you, our that, local I cookies. would say, you know, you could try, I can send you the contact of the person to mm -hmm. get organize the tour, Tresca Watson. Okay. And you would be able to chat with her as could we expand this? up island to the uh, uh, mill bay i don't know i mean they're the people to talk to because they're they're running it now like we the rotaries rotary supports it financially and we'll do volunteers like uh right now we're, there's one club that goes to take some of the food 10 boxes of food the, to craig flower school every <laughs> and the parents at craig flower school 
come with their uh, reusable shopping bags and literally take the food. Yeah. Wonderful. So the label I'm going to add to that is follow up ASAP. Is that, that is so such exciting. that is such a um, I would call a rescue. <laughs> what they've done with that food like it's just we called it the heartbreaking rescue project to begin with <laughs> it's heartbreaking to know that that's how much food that was available to actual people but stores were just throwing out into the landfills because they couldn't do anything else with it that's well the interesting part is what i learned out of this project and doing it was there's enough food in canada to feed every well in the world to feed everybody the problem mm -hmm. is, is how much we're throwing away. Yeah, the waste. The waste yeah. is the issue. Um, and in countries like uh, France, France has mandated now the grocery stores are not allowed to throw out the food. They have to repurpose it and get it out to other people. Yeah. Wow. Hey. And we all should be doing Sorry. that. No, but nobody should go hungry. No, there's no need yeah. for it. But it's just this project has been amazing. And, and the people, Sydney Club comes in and they collect, they get box, 10 boxes a week, and they take it out to one of the schools in Sydney. Yeah. And I was just talking to them the other day, and they said, people are just so thankful for this food, and especially mm -hmm. now. I think that's kind of how Nourish Cowichan came about, isn't it? Yes, we have isn't a wonderful food, re food recipe through them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that Nanaimo has fishes and loaves, yes. or loaves and fishes. Uh, this one is just done on a bigger scale. Wow. Other opportunities we can look at include and should always start with our First Nations guidance as well on their stewardship of the land. And so we're going to be reaching out to um, one of the educators. His name is Jared Kwastain uh, uh, Williams. And he's been producing a series of educational videos and, on YouTube, and he has a Patreon account so that he can, is able to share our Hokumina, the Hokumina culture with us. And I'm very interested to have him come and speak with our club and to share and to build those bridges of, of friendship. So, um, yeah, like there's just so many opportunities. As you can see, it's a, it's a huge value with our club leadership. So I'm making sure we follow up with that. And yeah, there's no end really. There's youth services, lots of ideas there. Uh, and anyone really can be invited onto this dashboard. So as I wrap up our training session, I just wanna say that one of the ways I include you is I can actually add your email address or I can click the link and send it to you and send the invitation. So um, this, that's how easy it is to be a part of this dashboard and to, to be added. I won't do that now because it's part of our recording. So I don't wanna share um, privileged data with anyone, but I just wanna say like some things that are known to everyone, for example, are our executive members list and then our club members. Right now we're actually at 17. So we're keen to add everyone, bring one, so to speak, to grow our membership. And then we're also looking at ways to communicate what it is we're up to. So we use our social media extensively but there are lots of other ways we can um, share and do outreach in the community. So I'm going to be litter picking at various locations this week. Uh, today we're in the village and tomorrow we'll be at the disc golf course at Discovery Elementary School. And again, Tuesday morning, Corey and I will be also at the, at the course with um, another gal named Sarah who had really wanted to be a part of it, but couldn't make Sundays. So I'm really excited about that, Corey, and I'm hoping you'll be interested in playing disc golf sometime because it is quite fun. Well, what is that, disc ball? Uh, disc golf. So it's like a frisbee, but it's a special type of frisbee. It's not a recreational frisbee. It's actually a sport frisbee. Okay. And so you have a putter, you have a driver, and you have a mid-range one. And then there's so many different variations depending on how much um, curve you want to get. You can... Uh, invest in these quite a bit our son-in-law is a competitive player so but we learned through the cvrd recreation program they offer the, the classes on it at the hub yeah so it's called disc golf and disc we noticed golf. disc golf and we noticed that the disc golf course closest to us was very much covered in litter this summer 
and we'd like to make sure it looks well cared for. So yeah, why not, right? And those are just organic ideas. Um, sometimes we can uh, be just a caring presence, maybe not wearing our brand here necessarily. This is something we talked about, but um, this past August 2nd, there was a March for the Children organized by the Penelicut tribe um, out of Shimanus uh, is where they organized to, to be able to remember the children. So yeah, those kinds of things we can show us support even as caring citizens of the community. Uh, let's see. And, and uh, yeah, litter cleanup has been requested on a trail from the high school to Mill Bay Center. So that would be something Actually, Lorna, um, I'm going to add in the description here that we um, ask South Cowichan Rotary to help launch a collaborative litter pick once school is back in session, because mm -hmm. then the students can be involved. Yeah. And, and to involve the Interact Club. And that's just an idea so that, again, clubs can be working together and we can really have that, um, that unity and that, um, yeah, effectiveness of purpose there. It's great. So uh, yeah, just a few other things. Um, climate action, there's a whole BC network we could be joining and that's another discussion. I keep coming back to different topics. So we actually have a whole uh, column here called Topics and Guest Speakers. And we can learn from other groups doing beautification. So Crofton and Bloom, I've added some contact information. There was an article in The Citizen. And so this is the kind of thing you can include on a Trello dashboard. It's so great. Mm -hmm. Then you think, wow, where did I see that article? Or where did I see that idea? So I actually have a whole folder here, if you can imagine, because I am a bit of a, a pack rat paper wise, a whole folder of those types of clippings and ideas that I can add to this board so that all the members can see and, and maybe um, contribute their action plans too. So we wanna remember uh, how we've communicated, how we're communicating in the newspaper, what we can do, some of the positive press that we've had, I need to update this because our charter article went to the, the local paper as well as the, as well as the community newspaper for all of the um, Couch and Valley. So that's great. That, that photo that you took Lorna was in our Couch and Citizen newspaper a week or so ago, which is just fabulous. And sorry, I miss scrolled here, hold on. Um, going back to our letters of thanks, we've been connecting with people up and down the island for some of the initiatives, including David and his litter picking. So you can see the stickers that he had there. Uh, litter pickers are heroes, it says. We keep it clean. So <laughs> that could be a motto from our club as well. My, my mom and I are litter pickers. My mom lives in Lake Cowichan. Oh, she was right wonderful. across from an access to the trail. Yeah, yeah. So when we walk in the trail, we are litter picking. Wonderful. I need to yeah. use my arrow keys. So and it's amazing how much stuff people leave behind. Yep. It is amazing. And <laughs> also, it can be depressing, but I also see it as like a reverse Easter egg hunt. Like, it's actually fun when you see it as, oh, what can I score? How much can I fill my bag? And, yeah. and what kinds <laughs> of things am I finding so that I can educate the public on maybe what yeah. not to do, right? Yeah. Yeah, like using the, the road as an ashtray. And so um, we also have some follow up here in terms of our assets and, and uh, we've got a grant and aid coming to us because we are a service club and that'll right. allow us to uh, pay for all the hoses and other things that we've uh, bought to, to water our garden spaces in the village and at least. See gingerbread on there. I, yeah, so I've got an ongoing fundraiser. I haven't, it, it's, okay. it's kind of, it's kind of in um, how you say uh, it's, because it's too hot right now. So it's yes. going to hibernation until the weather cools off a bit. But yes, I'm proudly offering cookies, a special uh, run of cookies that people can order. So the last order went to a nursing home, for example, uh, which is great because they're full-size cookies and, and people can eat them right out of it. It's a, it's a paper tote box, by the way. I, I'm absolutely so proud of the, the plastic-free option here. It looks like a donut box, but it holds um, between... Uh, 
two, two to three dozen cookies, which is just exciting. And last but not least, uh, following up with the global network. So one of the cards I need to add here is that we heard from a club in Istanbul. So Lorna and Corey, if you can believe this, right away, because I've been um, attending these early morning webinars every second Wednesday with Ezra, uh, they reached out, a club in Istanbul reached out to us with a PowerPoint talking about what they're doing in their neck of the woods and really wanting to partner with us. So can you imagine the opportunity for a global grant? Like if our clubs were together to come up with some way to deal with the plastic or anything that is universally a problem. So uh, I'm putting follow up with Istanbul Ecological Rotary Club. And so what they had, and I can upload even, uh, just to show you again what Trello can do before we wrap up, is when I go to attachment, I'm gonna to go to my computer and I'm gonna find in, I've got club startup, I've got eco club documents. I'm gonna find the Gmail that says hello from Istanbul Rotary Club. So I have created a PDF rather than printing this out. And so I can go to that PDF now and I can share this message with all of our club members to say, hey, we heard from Istanbul and yeah, this is their club. And they even sent us, like I said, a PowerPoint. So I can add that as a separate, a separate thing. Let's see if I can add one more attachment. And you can see that's probably still in my downloads though. So let's try that. Uh, I don't see it. Let's see. PowerPoint. Yeah, here it is. So isn't this fun? Like I just get really excited about, about being able to share communications like this. This is a club secretary's dream, by the way, is to have a Trello dashboard so that you can share, you know, what other clubs are doing. If they have a short uh, presentation like this one, Lorna, wouldn't that be great as by way of introduction is to reach out to other clubs and they're looking to control greenhouse gas emissions and uh, looking to, um, how to help with the drought conditions and so on and creating awareness of pollution and different things. So here's some of their projects, eliminating plastic bags at pharmacies and uh, changing gift giving habits. Like if they're just asking some of the right questions and I get really excited about that. And this is where down the road, Kim, you could get into an international project with a club like that and yeah. you could do a project there, they could then do a project here. Yep, yep. And, the, and you get big money from Rotary to do and that. And we, we also have um, the uh, ESRA representative from the Zero Waste uh, Task Force has created, is creating a database of participants for their working group. So that is really exciting too. Like I said, like let's, spearhead zero waste events and and let our clubs serve the community that way where we are the attendants at a kiosk and interact with people as they're figuring out where to put their items whether it's compost or so on or, or yeah so thank you for coming along on this journey i'm going to stop sharing my screen now because i think you can see what Trello is able to do and how we're able to integrate that so that this information does not get lost when I take on a different role within the club that other people will be able to access all of the careful archiving that goes on. And I invite you to check out Trello's homepage and some of the different templates. So like I said, I chose a V2MOM uh, to get all everyone in our organization in sync but there's other templates within different categories that you can check out. And you can see examples of how they've used this in education and so on. And it's just a really exciting and like I said, totally free way to enhance your productivity. So thanks again for coming on this tour. I'm gonna to stop sharing. And this recording will be available at our YouTube channel later. And I invite anyone who's watching it to check out our webpage at seanaganrotaryecoclub.ca and to please contact us if you have any ideas or any feedback at all to share. So thank you.